What's going on guys, this is Duval Gaming, welcome to another episode of the Pasta Show. Today I'm going to be reading a, uh, a random ritual pasta I found about, uh, it's called Hell.exe, let's check this one out. <laughs> it's pretty, uh, interesting. So yeah, here we go, this is the Pasta Show. Have you ever wondered if it's possible to visit the afterlife without actually dying? The saying goes you can only go to heaven or hell if you're dead, but this is not entirely true. You can indeed have a brief visit to the afterlife and meet your dead friends, relatives, and even meet God. Sounds good, right? There's one catch. It's not exactly easy. Many will return, change as individuals, and some even chose to take their own lives afterwards. Many lost their sanity, and only a small percentage remained what you'd call sane after their journey. Even though I refuse to describe what they saw, I'm different. I've been both to heaven and hell several times in this article. I'm going to describe how to visit hell and meet some of your dead relatives that have sinned throughout their mortal lives. For the journey, you will need to be a well-rounded individual with a strong mentality, otherwise you will not be able to cope with what you see. Most importantly, you will need to have killed somebody at least once in your life before you try this. First, you head to your nearest church from 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. on a Sunday night. If the door is locked, gain entry somehow. If impossible, then try the second closest church. Once inside, approach the altar and kneel down in praying position. Then in a monotone voice, repeat this following scripture clearly. If done correctly, you should fall asleep instantly and wake up in your room. On the edge of your bed should be a piece of paper. On the piece of paper, there should be a link to a website, and this link varies from person to person. Find an old computer with no internet connection or any means of communicating to the outside world. I just do not want the most horrifying demons imaginable to know your location. Boot up the computer and load up an internet browser and enter the link. Despite the lack of internet connection, you should be directed to a black page with a hyperlink in the middle stating your name and date of death. Whatever you do, do not click on the hyperlink. Instead, save the page and view the HTML file in Notepad. Scroll to the bottom of the document, there should be an address. Make sure you write this down. Once you're finished with the computer, take it as far away as you can, destroy it, and never return to the church you visited again. A week later, visit the address you wrote down, and it should be an old abandoned warehouse that was never there before. Do not enter this building yet, but instead knock on the door exactly six times. If any more or less, you'll be greeted by the devil himself, and you will be damned to a place far worse than hell. If all is well, an old man should open the door and hand you a blank CD with the words hell.exe written onto it. Run this on another PC you're willing to sacrifice with no inward or outward communication. On the CD should be two files, diablo.jpg and hell.exe. Do not view diablo.jpg, it will cause you to rip your eyes out. Don't worry if it does not have a thumbnail. Just run hell.exe. Instantly, your monitor should start flickering and grow some pictures of the mutilated corpses of your dead relatives. It should flash quickly on and off your screen. Then a window should pop up with two buttons, one saying come and one saying leave. Now is your last chance to turn back. If you want to visit hell, then click on come, and if not, click leave. You will fall unconscious and wake up in your bedroom with no memory of hell.exe even existed and all events of its existence will be lost. If the issue is come, the window will close and the computer will spontaneously combust along with the CD. Do not leave the room you're in, just let the flames spread until the heat knocks you unconscious. You should wake up on a hospital bed in a dark room with no clothes on. Do not get out of the bed, just lay there. After about five minutes, two people should enter the room. I cannot be any clearer on this, just keep your eyes tight shut when they approach your bed. If you look at them even once, they will rip you to pieces. They will discuss in familiar voices how unfortunate your death was and describe it in complete detail. This applies to the date of death you found on the website. Cover your ears if you not want to hear your own fate. Afterwards, they should leave the room hastily. Wait about 10 minutes and exit the room. 
Once you have exited the room, you should be in a very long corridor with the lights out. Start walking down the corridor. Once you have walked about 3 kilometers, all the lights should turn on. When this happens, run. Run as fast as you can down the corridor until you reach a fire escape door. Throw yourself through the door at full force and then slam the door shut behind you as soon as you burst through. You are now in limbo. Your surroundings should be a large desert like wasteland with no signs of life. Search the vast emptiness for a sharp rock or a cliff edge, something you can use to end your own life. As in order to reach the gates of hell, you need to kill yourself in limbo. Be cautious when exploring. Even though this isn't hell, there are some monsters lurking about in caverns that will try to turn you into one of them. They're not as dangerous as the monsters you encounter in hell, these are just some baptized souls cast in limbo to expend eternity endlessly exploring the dark endless cavern systems. For killing yourself, you must remove your eyes from your sockets to deafen yourself somehow. You should only have your sense of touch, taste, and smell left. You cannot ever see or hear hell. If you value your sanity, that is. Don't worry, once you return to the human world, you'll have your senses back. When you wish to leave hell, simply shout this Latin phrase as hell loud as you can. I cannot give any more instructions because I feel that if I give away more information, I'll be putting myself at risk. But there is somebody who recorded their findings, a man named Ewan McGowan. He successfully went to hell and returned. Shortly after he returned, he brutally murdered most of his family and then hung himself. When they found his body, there was in his possession a note. And as in this note, he describes what he saw in detail. If you are reading this, then I have done the unforgivable. I have killed the people I care about the most in the worst possible manner. I did it to save them from a fate far worse than a painful death. Last week, I tried to visit my dead father in hell. He was a raging alcoholic that would come home from the pub and beat me and my mother. He died of liver disease when I was 13. I wanted to see him get what he deserved. What I saw in hell was something mortals should never experience in their lifetimes. After blinding, deafening, then finally killing myself in that ringing wasteland, I woke in what felt like a furnace. It was so excruciatingly hot and I couldn't move. I began to hear voices in my head and they all said the same thing. Help me. The voices were of many people that I knew that had died. The voices grew louder and louder, and my surroundings got hotter and hotter until everything stopped. I saw something I, that I cannot begin to describe. I saw every sin and act of violence, greed, bloodlust, and gluttony played out, all at the same time in my head. I felt the worst feeling of, how can I describe it, melancholy I've ever experienced in my life. I felt as if nothing mattered anymore. That's when he arrived. Suddenly, my sight returned, but all I could see was darkness. Then something appeared in front of me. I cannot describe its appearance, but all I could see is it was not human, or even a recognizable being. But it was an entity of pure and adulterated haunt terror. I knew this was the devil. He talked to me telepathically, not in any recognizable language. But I somehow fully understood what he was saying told me to favor the universe and what I must do, my duty. I owe him my soul. 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 I... The rest of the page is unreadable and covered in what appears to be blood. Alright, that was the pasta. Some Latin phrases I did not want to attempt, so I just put those on the screen. Well, I'm gonna review this into like I'm gonna review Hell.exe first, and then like the Ian's note part. So the actual uh, ritual it was kind of a ritual, sort of. It was more, well, I guess, a list of instructions and what to do was basically a ritual. Uh, it's pretty interesting. I tried to look for a ritual pasta that had to do with computers. And uh, I found this one without a website that was really short and not that good. This one was okay though, I liked it. It's kind of interesting how to visit, like we've already seen the devil game where you can talk to the devil, but we've never seen uh, like how to visit hell apparently without actually dying. 
the ins and out part is okay. It's kind of like a what happens. It's like an example, you could say. But I guess it was all right. The ending was kind of cliche. Other than that, overall, a decent creepypasta. Probably about a 5 out of 10, maybe 6. Oh god, 6. Maybe 7, I'm not even sure, but I guess that's it for the pasta show. Hope you enjoyed. Leave in the comments if there's a certain creepypasta you'd like me to read. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of the pasta show.